In this review we're going to get higher by taking a look at a model of a piece of access equipment and it's made by NZG. It's in the larger scale of 1 to 32 which is the normal scale for this type of equipment. The machine is a Genie GS4390. We will let the Genie out of the bottle, sorry out of the box and we will set it free by cutting the factory tape. Lifting the lid there's the model sitting in the trays and we can lift it out carefully with the giant hand crane. On this model there's no assembly to do because it is complete. Out of box. Starting underneath the modelling is mostly simple. There's a small plastic base plate but one nice detail is that you can just see the engine poking through underneath. The tyres have a good tread pattern and they're mounted on nice detailed wheels. But compared to the real machine one difference is the lack of small warning graphics. What seem to be the lifting or towing points are solid on the model. And looking at the stabilisers there are nice metal pads with screw threads visible. The engine cover has got some detailing including ventilation holes. The scissors arrangement is nicely modelled with the connecting pins being relatively small and there's a simple hydraulic ram which drives the scissors. Moving up to the work platform the handrails are metal and particularly good is the diamond plated platform surface. On one axle the wheels are fixed to a common rod and spin together and on the steering axle the wheels spin independently. The angle is very good and there's also some oscillation. So let's try the Genie out on the test track. And this is a heavy model which rolls very nicely. Here we can see the oscillation of the axle. And let's put the steering on a hard lock and see what happens. And it's got a tight turning circle. When we go up in the platform we don't want it bouncing about on the tyres. So you can lower the stabilisers. And these unscrew in the usual way. And then we can get the hydraulic hand working and raise the work platform. It goes up smoothly and the hydraulic ram is stiff enough to hold any pose on the way up. One thing the model offers is the ability to put locking bars in place at the bottom. And these get raised up and they interlock at the right place. It looks like it should be a pinned connection but the pins supplied with the model don't fit here. In fact they seem to fit in a different place. And the pins supplied fit into holes on the running rails. But that's not a job for anybody with fat or even normal sized fingers, so here we're using pliers. At the top we can get a much bigger work platform by sliding out both ends. With the platform raised let's do a dim check so we'll get the tape out and to the top of the handrails it's about 17 inches or 44 centimeters which is slightly short to the scaled height of the real machine. If you have a suitable truck in 1 to 32 scale then the Genie makes a good looking load. But one thing you should not do is follow the example of the cranes etc engineer. Sometimes you should not put your arm where it doesn't belong. Oh! This is another in a series of models that NZG have made for Genie in 1 to 32 scale. It is a large and robustly made model, and the overall functionality of the model works well. It would have been nice if there had been some more detailing, perhaps with small graphics. And overall, this is a nice model which is rated as good.